Joining me via phone this morning from our nation's capital, Todd Thurman with the Heritage Foundation. Good morning, sir. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, let's first talk about the Heritage Foundation. I personally use uh, use your, you guys' information quite often. It's very informative, and I have found it to be very correct, which is a refreshing thing in this day and time. Uh, talk about what you guys do. Well, thank you very much, uh, Jeff. Uh, what we do is we're a public policy think tank where we uh, promote uh, conservative policy uh, to the Congress and to the general people. Our main target is, uh, you know, Congress and congressmen. But uh, in order to reach the congressmen, we have to reach the people so they can reach their congressmen as well. Uh, we have a, a variety of uh, issues that we cover, from, you know, budget and spending to economy and jobs to foreign, foreign policy like defense and uh, homeland security. Now, you guys also, um, on your website recently, there was an article called what is the proper role of mm-hmm. the courts? Now, in Texas, uh, we've become very familiar with the courts because we've had several situations dealing with the courts, in particular redistricting. What is the proper role of the courts? Well, you know, at the Heritage Foundation, we, uh, we believe that uh, the proper role of the courts is what's defined in the Constitution, and it is very limited. Um, you know, we have Supreme Court cases that you know, really expand the, the power of the courts uh, which is not what the founders intended. We we adhere to what the founders intended, which is to be the least dangerous branch. And you know, if you look in the Constitution, what they can do is very limited, and what they do is actually not any part of what the Constitution says. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how that we've had several. Well, it seems as if here in recent history, we've had more and more activist judges. Yep. Have we not? Yes. Oh, yeah. And, you know, George W. Bush called it legislating from the bench, which is exactly what they're doing, because as soon as they come down with a decision, it's basically law. Um, there's nothing in the Constitution that says that, the, that anybody has to follow it, but, you know, everybody just does out of precedent. Yeah, you know, it's pretty amazing. I was talking with David Barton recently, and one of the, that's one of the things he was talking about is that, you know, a lot of things that we face, especially as Christians, you know, has not come from 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 bad legislation. It's come from the courts ruling mm-hmm. from the bench. Yep, and it's you know, it's it's a more devastating impact uh, when a court just hands down a decision because there's no oversight to to the courts. There's no you can't elect them out. The only thing they have to do is be on good behavior. That's the only requirement. Now, what could a, uh, you know, because right now we're in the middle of a presidential campaign, mm-hmm. uh, what could a president do when it, to, to rein in the courts? Is there anything a president can do? He can just, uh, you know, do his best to nominate judges who will adhere to the Constitution uh, or, you know, as adhere to uh, sound principle, conservative principle judgment. Our real battle really is with the Senate and especially with the House, is it not? That's where we really need to focus on in order to rein in these guys. Yeah, you know, the Senate, uh, nothing gets through the, without the advice and consent of the Senate. So, um, you know, if we have a good Senate, then they won't uh, approve the uh, the activist judges. From from your standpoint, changing subjects now, from your standpoint, what can we do about Obamacare? Well, you know, we have um, a lot of stuff on our website, to uh, you know, that shows the impact of Obamacare. It's just the stories that we can share to let people know, like, this is what, what it can do and what it's capable of doing is, um, you know, we get those stories out and maybe uh, we can talk, people can, uh, can share those stories and get the word out and then this can be, this monstrosity can be ended. Yeah, speaking of monstrosities, how about this? Talk about the EPA because in the Arklatex we face dire consequences from the EPA. Right now, uh, one of the largest cities in our area is having to deal with this issue of stormwater drainage. Uh, which is an unfunded mandate from the EPA. Mm-hmm. What can be done about this extra constitutional organization agency? Well, it's just you know it's about um, getting uh, getting uh, the right people in the right place to uh, you know say maybe we don't we take a closer look at the EPA and say like what is actually needed and what is not needed. And my guess is we'll find that there's a lot that is not needed. Yeah, because you know they. <laughs> First of all, they're not even required by law. But secondly, more importantly, I think, is that they're sitting there making, they're, they're making policy, yeah, and, and, and it's affecting people. And that's that's the the real um, uh, power behind the bureaucracy is that the rulemaking process. When when Congress passes a law, they say we should do this, and it's up to bureaucrats like the people at the EPA to say this is how we're going to enforce that, and that basically becomes law. With they have you know public notice for for rules making process, but you know, the average Joe is not going to be in tune with the with the rulemaking process or the or the public notice, and it'll just happen without any anybody knowing it. 
Yeah, now you guys have been in the news a little bit here of late because of Newt Gingrich being in the race. You guys uh, are getting some name recognition. How do you guys feel about that? Well, you know, we don't we don't support any candidate, um, so we um, we enjoy people learning about the Heritage Foundation, uh, you know, any way they can. But uh, we. We uh, we like to make our own news, as it were. <laughs> it is kind of cool, though, that you guys are getting some ID. You know, yeah. Because you've been around for a while, and I don't think people have really recognized your work until probably the last couple of years here. Yeah, it's been it's been a real uh, been a roller coaster uh, actually, because you know we started in 1973, and you know we were, our focus was Congress, and we Congress Congress we were very successful in Congress. And now that we've expanded uh, out towards the the public, uh, we've been you know just as successful, if not more, and it's been a lot of fun. What can a citizen or, or a citizen activist? What can they pick up from your website? Well, they can go to uh, candidate briefing and get the uh, candidatebriefing dot com and get the uh, candidate briefing book, and it has a it's a PDF of uh, every single issue that we cover, and it has conservative policy solutions as well as interactive charts that they can use and share with other people, or they can go to uh, heritage.org slash index and get the Index of Economic Freedom. It just launched uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, it shows the uh, ec- economic freedom uh, of every country, uh, about 189 countries, and, uh, we, you know, we have the graphs that show and the data that shows that, you know, more economic freedom uh, ha- leads to more prosperity. You know, Hong Kong is the freest country in the world, and the United States is barely hanging on, hanging on to the top ten at number 10, and we are mostly free. We're not a free country anymore. Wow, that's just amazing to hear that, that we are not as free as what we used to be. Yeah, we, oh, we've wow. been slipping uh, ever since uh, 08. Amazing. Well, listen, how can folks get a hold of your work again? All right, you can go to heritage.org and find everything you need to on our website. Todd Thurman. Man, thank you guys for doing what you do because it's very important. It's helped folks like myself and others to get a grasp on what's happening. And, man, we appreciate your work. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Todd. Bye. It is 742, 18 minutes away from 8 o'clock. Again, that's heritage.org, heritage.org.